to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Oh God, you are my God. Ali! Like we are doing, will I seek you? My soul thirsts for you. I want to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the trim audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions. And I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We're going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that. And then we can minister to people, but we need to pray. Do you have it? Are you ready with it? Okay, so quickly. Everyone is going to participate. We are going to it takes prayer. It takes prayer. Everyone say it takes prayer to command victories. Say it takes prayer. That's what a vigil is. A vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil, Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen. The breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight, I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people. But whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open. And there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen there are gates but tonight ministries and destinies will rise to a new level please i'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit prepare your spirit rise up everybody inside and outside please rise up the first prayer point is a cry for grace call it the spirit of prayer and supplication lift your voice and pray 
Lord release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication just pray please everybody rise 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 stand on your feet you came to pray do this for the sake of your destiny will you open up the gate open up the doors will you open up the gate open up the doors us oh God that we will call upon your name we can also God that we will call upon your name we can also God that we will call upon your name we can also God that we will call upon your name we can also God that we will call upon your name hallelujah I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly say Lord I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. It belongs to you. Pray. Total surrender. Lord. It belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, Hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we're going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio. While that is happening until it finishes, it's a guide. The moment it starts, we are stretching in the spirit. No sleeping. Anyone who is sleeping, hold his hands and walk around with them. No sleeping. Praise the Lord. Because this is about your destiny. Outside, make sure you participate. Whatever you do, be ready to stretch it in the spirit. And I want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit. Where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody. Begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. 
You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. 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 There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my he says and i shall be anointed with fresh oil listen the lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that this is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs i saw this when i was praying in a vision and that's why i'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just tap your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of Jesus Christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen Tonight is a night of encounter with power. Hallelujah. It's a night of encounter with power. 
Father, I lay my hands upon this. In a name that is above all names, may they become conduits of your power. May they become instruments of power. As this comes upon the heads of many, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs, supernatural freshness, supernatural grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, lift your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord, as this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you praying? As this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. What tired of the star is called listen please i want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil it has the power of god what you do is just pass it to the first person you just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies we'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there's there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone hallelujah it's gotta be more gotta be more father let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead just tap it lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues go ahead everybody you can put it on your hands if you want to but go ahead quickly quickly just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get it. Everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing, make decrees. Bible says, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure your speaking, my life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. 
Go ahead, please pray. here kneeling with a child. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family that came here. A family that came here. I think this, this has to do with sickness. This is a family. Is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity? Please quickly let's save time we have we still have a lot hallelujah stand up sir where is your wife Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name, but I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case, believe me. The atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name, Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy, please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You're sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you. I'm pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. 
madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression and attack. It's not just on your baby. This thing, you are the one who really needs to be free, not even the baby. You get the point. But you have to calm down now, madam. Let me talk to you. I'm seeing you in the spirit. There's no mic. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking at this madam in the spirit and I'm seeing you fatter than this. I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. This is what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? You believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing to what? Yes. No, not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee. Like a, you know when it's almost time in a football match. This is what I'm seeing. Your time there is almost up. And God is going to lift you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm declaring that let this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is need to pray for your child. Um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever, temperature. We have to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is not of God upon this child, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Madam, the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor. Please, I want you to believe me. I don't just talk if God has not told me anything. Do you believe? Father, bring this family into tremendous realms of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why am I seeing Memuna on your head? Are you Memuna? That's your name. Come. You too, you are Memuna. I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna. Is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick. But then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Yeah? be prayerful there are some things I cannot show here but you see let me speak in parables you cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me are you getting what I'm saying you cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me it's very important be prayerful and he's either Lord of all he cannot share his glory with any other thing get what I'm saying madam the Lord is going to lift you and tell you this I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them this is your child father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ this is spirit let her go now out by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I pray for you I'm seeing three babies there are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. 
please who is that person I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody you came for yourself who is that person let me just minister to the person very quickly please let's save time fruit of the womb because the lord is showing me i just had the cry three babies congratulations madam where is she Your name is glorious, we lift you up higher, higher. There's somebody here, you are here with five broad. Right now, as I'm talking, great wisdom for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah. I see the healing angels stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it, but He's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady and she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. Higher, your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabalato kasu brende ke barato subrihata la masia. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Okay, here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody huh? they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the mother he got it wrong because his understanding is limited it's not like the boy wants to kill her but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her both of them this is the spirit of death she would have died on the 22nd of this month 22nd would have buried her it would have been over she would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd God, you are higher than any other. Our God is He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God. To voice and say, Our God is greater. Hey. Our God is stronger.
Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this one. Who speaks that now? Mama? Kiberta? Leave her. Yeah, Kiberta. Butterfly Liva. She looks like a fuller human. She understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfecta, I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we are done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most high God 
worship you Father we love you oh. Father we love you Father we love you And we here to let you know You are the most I God. Join me, say, Father. Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, oh. you are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Say to the Lord, you are the most high God. Father, we wait on you. Oh, you are the most high God. We wait on you, Jesus. We wait on you, Jesus. You are the most high God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship. You are the most high Father, we reverence you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you, Jesus. Here to let you know. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus, with the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Father, pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified. In we worship you. Oh, 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 oh. we worship you. You are the most high God. Say, Father, we worship you. Say. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. You are the most high. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship you. We worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Say we worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Lifted up, we worship. With our hands lifted up, we worship. When we lift up our hands, it's to you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. With our hands lifted up, we worship you, Jesus. We worship. Yes, we worship Jesus, the King of Glory. The Lamb of God who was slain before the foundations of the earth. We worship you, Jesus. Yeah.
desperate. I'm desperate for you. Say, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Say, I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. Oh. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. Desperate for you. Desperate for you. I'm lost without you, Shane. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you, say. I'm lost without you. Church, say, I'm lost without you now, say. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Let the rain of your presence fall Say, I'm lost without you. Cover us with your grace, Jesus. <laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let the rain of your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your love, oh God. I'm lost without you. Here is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Break every chain, say Break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Say, break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh ho ho ho. Break every chain. Break every chain. Rosa.
could not hold you. Death could not hold you. Just leave him there. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we're done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and lives and is to come, I will sing before His throne forever. Your holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy. Hallelujah, mighty one. Psalm 66, verse 3, please. Our last prayer session. We're going to be praying. And we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, 
but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people into their promised land, when the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, all right, let, we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race, the women and the children. Let the men go because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We're going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we're going to pray. The Bible says, now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things, all things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploits, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those bots, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well, you are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare release of every other area of my life that is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shabarata kataba. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Are you praying in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was you praying? When Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says, the Egyptians you see today, oh, you may have seen them for 430 years, but today, the Egyptians you see today, he says that you would not see them. And then he said, Moses, verse 15, now Moses was crying before God. And he said, why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward. Make advancement. Listen, this prayer we are going to pray is important. Because many of us, this prayer will supply courage. Hear me. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in business. 
It's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you are falling again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you. They follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there. Where you fell is where you will rise and excel. The anointing is still there. Lift your voice and prophesy. I'm moving forward. Go ahead and pray. Pray. In my ministry, I'm moving forward. I refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me. Inside and outside, I'm moving forward in every area of my life. You wanted to start a building project. A challenge came and you have refused to move forward. You tried to get admission. You tried once, twice. It didn't work. Listen. It says, tell the people to move forward. Koinonia, I announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward. Now prophesy. Lord, I'm moving forward. I break those barriers. I refuse to see challenges. That project is doable. The project is doable. The marriage is doable. Come on, pray now. The ministry can rise. It's achievable. It's achievable. It's achievable. I may have been thrown down once, but it is achievable. There is still an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down. Samson was a mighty man of power. But for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate. God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor, but something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson, and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God. He prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time let this anointing come upon me. And the Bible says he pushed. He killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Can I tell you something? You should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person we live in a generation where every time you fail there are so many people coming to prove to you justifying their prophecies are you getting me now you start a business or a company it fails and everybody tells you you see you start a ministry genuinely called by god no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says I'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up are you hearing what I'm saying I won't give up Lord, I won't give up. 
I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up, Lord. I won't give up. I'll keep holding on until my change comes. I will never forget our first crusade. Our first crusade in Joss. You would have rated it. Maybe a failed crusade. Because they were not people. They were not much. We saw miracles. We saw mighty things. But the people were few. We were stranded. Listen. A crusade would happen. The crusade was to start by 5.30. As, as at 3 o'clock. The car was still spoiled. We are still on our way going. I will never forget. The driver tried and tried and tried. We didn't even have enough money. We just had enough money to take us there. How we were going to survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen, when you see a successful man, don't just celebrate the stories. Ask the person for the pains and the scars. Successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open. They are not those who do not have challenges. Are you getting the point now? I will never forget that crusade was powerful. Immediately after the crusade, the sound guys were standing. 150,000 were to pay them. It looks like child's play now. But then it meant a lot. Because even if everybody in the ministry then came together, we would not be able to solve it. But we knew that God sent us. I knew what God had told me. A great crusade. The first crusade we did not even have... We could not rent video cameras. I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people. It was, it was such a bitter humiliation. Those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it. I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation, she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed. It was a disaster. I would have easily given up and said, that's it, Lord, no ministry again. Imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry. If I had given up at that point, God is speaking to someone. Peter tried to catch fish all night. Nothing happened. He would have packed up. Successful people are those who are audacious. Don't mind the mediocres around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul and Enche. 99 right when they went to abuja him his wife and two pastors were staying in one small room not by will that was all they could afford you would have called them failures do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house you carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room but that's what it's been called today listen I want you to know right now we are going to pray you are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything they may be the voices of good people they may be the voices of sincere people but i come to prove them wrong lift your voice and pray in the name of jesus everyone shout it in the name of jesus i'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh God lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. 
door weeping and just for a night the Lord is speaking to you joy comes with the morning you didn't get the admission but it does not mean it cannot be gotten the marriage didn't work out the travel abroad did not work out it does not mean you cannot travel the business did not work out it does not mean you are a failure you may not have money now you may not have connection now nobody may recognize your anointing but keep pressing keep pressing hallelujah hallelujah we are still praying you are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance listen let me tell you you can ask every one of the ministers here Barak who ministered and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha ask all of them they will tell you stories and episodes of endurance listen there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving nothing was happening are you getting what I'm saying any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you I'm telling you there are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed are you getting what I'm saying nothing like a result is happening you are planting bearing precious seeds but nothing is happening as a man of God you know the anointing upon your life while you are laboring in the spirit nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it you can be a great worshiper and for many years you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before God and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served you've even complimented on your degrees submitted CVs let me tell you something in every man's life there are seasons of persistence and endurance I want you to know this don't let any man fool you God is a God of speed not rush God does not rush he brings speed not rush there are seasons where you are proven the Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance there is something called a man's season of appearance you can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance years ago he may remember we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna a very powerful meeting and when we went there there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop there was nothing bishop about him when you launch yourself without your season of appearance the man was there and after the meeting I, I could not even figure one person who came to say kind man of God you bless me the bishop was there moving around no friend no car no nothing we went to the restaurant he just sat down somewhere and was just taking his power house nobody was even encouraging him and I said in my mind Lord if this is how it means to be a bishop I don't want this honor when God blesses you he brings honor with it when you launch yourself you will keep floating looking for relevance I'm speaking to many of us here we are at the verge of breakthroughs keep holding on there are times you don't need to do anything new you just need to keep doing what you are doing because what you are doing is not wrong if a baby we have a few babies around here if a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk if an old man starves himself to die he will not suddenly become young because there was no food 
Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen, you may be a man of God, anointed. It is true that God has spoken to you about ministry. But for now, all you will be doing is cleaning tables. Be faithful. You must receive grace for endurance. Because let me tell you, hope defers makes the heart weary. The heart of man is, is, is very fragile. The moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results, naturally speaking, naturally speaking, fatigue will come in. You're going to lift your voice. Are you still tired? We're rounding up. This is a very important prayer point. Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace for endurance. I receive grace for persistence. I receive grace for resilience. I will wait. I will be patient until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience, oh God. If you turn aside in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray. Persistence persistence endurance in prayer endurance in obedience hallelujah two more prayer points the bible tells us that a virgin called mary was just minding her business one day suddenly an angel appears to her listen appears to her with a prophetic message thou art highly favored blessed are you among women and she wondered what salutation this was and the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby and she said how shall these things be i know not a man just like god is telling you the same you who is standing one day you will own your television station and the world will be watching you and you look around and say how shall these things be and he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you watch this the moment god told mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to elizabeth somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision you will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you there must be people around your life that can identify no matter how mystical the instructions are there must be somebody around your life that can say although this looks strange i see that the hand of god is upon it loneliness in destiny has killed many people they are carrying visions they they have no other shoulder to lean on. And Mary went to Elizabeth. Every other woman would have said, you are very stupid. Tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant. But she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time. So she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things. Watch this. And the Bible says, as soon as Elizabeth, Mary and Elizabeth saw the babies, the destinies in their wombs left. You need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million Naira project is doable. How much do you have? 10 Naira. Say yes. I was once like that. You need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir I'm trusting God for a house or a car by the end of the year 
how much do you have? 2,000. He said, you are even better than me. When I was about to buy the car, I had 500 naira. Suddenly, you know you are not alone. There is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you. Somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable. It's a dangerous thing for a man of God. Dangerous thing for a businessman. Dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you. Are you getting what I'm saying? That you come and say, my sister, I want to share with you something. Don't be afraid. Though. Say, what is it? Say, do you know I don't have a womb? And the lady will not say, ah, what is all that? Say, Abba, your case is a simple case. There was a woman like that. It's not just that she didn't have a womb. In fact, her own was a, a bad case, but she had twins. You see that? That's Elizabeth. You need to call forth Elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of God, but there are no motivators. There are no people to tell you it is doable. Who said you can't start a bank? Everybody say, bank? What nonsense are you talking about? Somebody tells you you can do it. You can do it. You can start the bank. You pray them into your life. Are you getting me? There are ladies right now. This is August. But you heard from God genuinely. And you are trusting God to be settled by December. You, if you meet a wrong person. The person will look at you and say. I have what nonsense. How many months will it take for traditional marriage? How many months will it take to raise offering? Uh, sorry to raise the, uh, raise the money for the marriage. How long will it take? Do you know how much wedding gown is? Do you know how much it means to rent a house? Do you have 1.5 million? All those devilish things. You need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you, I, I met my guy in October. We married by December 15th. It is possible. Lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus, I call forth to my life the Elizabeths of my destiny. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I call into my life my destiny motivators. May they come to encourage me. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. We call for the Elizabeths. We call for the Elizabeths. We call for the Elizabeths. Men and women of similar vision. Men and women of similar passion. And women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah lift your hands everybody as I prophesy to us please I want you to receive it receive it with all your heart and receive it with a loud shout of amen the Lord gave me a revelation on the creative power of prophecy and we've had all kinds of humbling testimonies he says son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy speak to these bones speak to these situations as far as i am concerned there is nothing called impossible not when god steps in it is impossible when there are men but not when god steps in I pray for you right now in the name that is above all names that every door that before now has been closed over your life and your destiny by the anointing of the Holy Spirit return to find that door open now I prophesy it upon you return to find that door open in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life where your strength is limited you have done everything you know to do I'm declaring upon you right now let a fresh anointing take you through the remaining part of the journey in the name of Jesus Christ where your human strength has stopped may an anointing come and pick you up in the name of Jesus Christ when Jesus was about to start his ministry a voice spoke 
no matter how anointed you are it will take somebody to announce you please listen i show you a mystery no matter how anointed you are a midwife although she's a midwife she won't deliver a baby by herself when it is time for her to deliver she will need other midwives no man can bless himself no man can endorse himself are you hearing what i'm saying a voice had to be spoke out had to speak from heaven and say this is my beloved son and he commanded the world to hear him lift your hands let me speak over your destiny your destiny remains grounded until a voice can speak in the realm of the spirit a simple prophetic word but it's a profound law i'm praying for you right now by the anointing of the holy spirit everything that has covered your glory everything that has covered your your gift and your potential from being seen desired and celebrated i speak right now it's your time for celebration i speak right now it's your time for celebration i speak it to you right now it's your time for recognition it's time for your gift to be noted it's time for men to pay attention to what you carry in the name of jesus christ and i call for the helpers of destiny the wine pressers the bakers those who will speak to the king on your behalf i call them into your life right now in the name of jesus christ i declare upon you that all the years that the canker worm has eaten all the years the palmer worm has eaten what you think is foregone what you think is a waste i'm prophesying to you right now may there be double restoration may there be double restoration double restoration i pray for every family represented here in the name that is above all names not only will you receive visitation i release visitation to families 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 in the name of jesus let there be visitations may the lord wipe the tears of families in the name of jesus christ every project you want to embark on these hands that are lifted i put an anointing upon it and i force it to prosper in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ everything your hand embarks upon in the name that is above all names may you prosper in it in the name of jesus christ i speak over your finances listen when you are not empowered financially you will be limited in many ways there's no long story about it hallelujah cry yet say in zechariah 117a thus said the lord my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and i will yet comfort zion it takes finances to fund your assignment it takes finances for you to move forward lift your hands i pray for you in the name of jesus every power limiting your finances every power limiting you from obeying the principles that bring increase i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus christ every spirit of greed that keeps you in poverty and penury i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus i'm prophesying upon your life by the mystery of divine supply in the name of jesus may god send into your life people opportunities and resources in the name of jesus christ i pray for your spiritual life after spending time praying and waiting for eight hours in a vigil in the name of jesus let fresh fire come upon your spiritual life fresh fire come upon your spiritual life many of you will return back and you'll begin to see dimensions you never walked in suddenly activated in your life in the name of jesus christ i pray for every church and every ministry here grace to step into the next level of impact grace to step into the next level of impact in the name of jesus christ i release a breakthrough anointing upon every endeavor of your life beginning from this morning let it begin to speak 
in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands and worship the Lord give him praise hallelujah hallelujah let's take the following announcement and we're out of this place we thank the Lord for strength for grace to stretch it through now please listen carefully I want to announce to us that next week is going to be a very special program here is the practicum of our school of ministry students hallelujah I think you should celebrate them if you don't know what it's all about I want you to come that means our students will be handling the service everything from beginning to end will just be here supervising and assessing them um, you will be mightily blessed please invite all your friends and everyone to come around time is 6 p.m exceptional voice training school a voice training school belonging to um one of our people david dam where is he where's david dam okay that's his voice training school and um it's only for singers and vocalists the admission form is 200 naira the school fees for admitted singers is 4,000 only. Interested persons should meet him immediately after the service. Believe me, he's a fabulous vocalist and um, he's done a lot in the area of um, vocal proficiency and he's ready to invest and pour into many people. So make sure you are part of it. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it. If you are not, there's free but limited um, bus transport immediately after the service those going to shika and congo please wait at the projector stand outside you can book for your counseling sorry i was not around last week for counseling but you can book right after the service for your counseling be remember be reminded that all bookings stop on sunday 6 p.m and then messages will be sent to those who are booked please if you wait till nine o'clock or 9 30 and you don't get an sms you can call the protocol line the ushering department, um, Commodore Joseph D.K. should please meet the ushers to collect his school ID card. If you're here, meet the ushers for your ID card. And then this goes to everyone who has misplaced any item in the course of the service. Please, you meet the ushers. The Conference of Nigerian Christian Engineering Students concerts tag engineering in all aspects of life is holding a program today the 8th of august time is 9 a.m the venue is the new engineering lecture theater faculty of engineering featuring academic academia engineering in industry leadership entrepreneurship um ministers will be engineer abdul malik courage professor ibadun i'll be ministering there too and engineer emmanuel obeka so you're invited, especially for those who um, are engineers or engineering students. The prayer department invites the house for her prayer meeting at Rema Chapel on Tuesday by 4 p.m. Hallelujah. Please take note of our official lines. You can use them. Department of Protocol and Logistics, they have two lines. And then um, the media department, you can also have their details if you do not have this is free you can pick up one with the ushers hallelujah i want you with an ovation to celebrate those who are worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here please make your way to the front everyone who is worshiping with us for the first time koinonia keep clapping we're almost done do this for them god bless you god bless you god bless you celebrate them please make your way to the front no matter how far we want to pray for you and bless you the Lord brought you by his spirit. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by his spirit to lift you. We honor you and we thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Wow. Let's celebrate our mommy, Mrs. Ono. God bless you, man. Just supported her. Hallelujah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for all the people who are here. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Fridays, and this was a special vigil, a special program. I know that your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. 
and we want you to receive it with all your heart in Jesus name stretch your hands saints of God and let's prophesy over their lives we speak over your life that is from glory to glory that you have come and spent time in his presence I declare that you'll never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you're experiencing the power of God in your life beginning from today the evidence of your coming here will show in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every challenge you came here with we declare that it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus we bless you with fresh hunger for God fresh hunger for the things of the spirit may you go back and experience the honor of God upon your life in unprecedented dimensions if you have been running go and begin to fly in the name of Jesus you will move at the pace of the spirit there's no limitation upon your life we bless you we release upon you the blessings of this house let everything you do and touch prosper in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much now we just request you to do just one thing before you come back to your seat um, there are people who will welcome you more warmly will have your details and they'll communicate just a few messages to you and you'll be back to your seat thank you very much I just wanted to follow the lady waving her hands they'll have your details very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat can you celebrate them Koinonia thank you so so much dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.